Hello, I welcome you all back to the Glorious Generations Family TV. This is a beautiful channel where we talk about family life. We talk about faith. Okay, um, it's all about singles, married, all about our children, godly parenting. So being the love season period, I want us to um, to discuss more. Let's take this vow thing you know into another level i have some things i would like to share with you that i found on google and uh, if you don't mind i can also share you the link where i found it um it said bible verses for valentine's day best scriptures about love many people find love where love does not even exist so let's quickly you know briefly talk about this bad thing valentine's day also known as saint valentine's day originated as a church holiday on february 14th to honor matthias of faith of the faith saints whose names were valentine or valentinos valentinos or valentinos it is believed that the first heart valentine note was sent by a valentine who was in prison for a girl he loved Valentine's notes have been recorded as far back as the Middle Ages. While the meaning and celebration of Valentine's Day have changed, I hope you take note, it has changed. It has remained as a special day to shower with love to those we hold close. What better way to celebrate than with a farming? words of love with bible verses for valentine's day so top valentine's day bible verses first corinthians chapter 13 verses 4 to 8 love is patient and kind love does not envy or boast it is not arrogant or rude it does not insist on its own way it is not irritable or resentful he does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. As for prophecies, they will pass away. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will pass away. But guess what? Love never ends. Another verse, 1 Corinthians 16, verse 14. Let all that you do be done in love. Brethren, let all we do be done in love. And singles, young girls, uh, female children, uh, adults, young adults, youth, please remember, both male and female, boys and girls, remember. Everything you do should be done in love, right? That doesn't mean you should get down. No. Getting down is not the only way to show love. Getting down is honorable in marriage. Please take note of that. Another verse we should take note of. 1 John verse, chapter 4, verse 8. Anyone who does not love does not know God. Because God is love. He loves, we love because God first loved us. We love because God first loved us. We love, we love, we love because God first loved us. Another verse, First, Cor First Peter verse 4, I mean, oh my God, I'm sorry. First Peter chapter 4 verse 8. Above all, keep loving one another earnestly. Since love covers a multitude of sins. Mm, that's why you see sometimes somebody had wronged you several times. Are you still giving them benefits of doubt? Benefits of doubt. It happens even between friends. Friends. It happens among couples. You know, you will hear, oh, your husband has been disappointing you. Your wife has been, you know, doing this to you. And yet you still stuck with her in the marriage. You keep giving benefit of doubt. And the one thing is in marriage, if you can forgive, you can get married. 
You have to keep forgiving and forgiving over and over and over. But guess what? We need to stop hurting each other in marriage. It doesn't make sense. Okay, one more thing. No, let's do more. Another one. Colossians 3, 14. Above all these things, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Let's check another one. 1 Corinthians 13, verse 13. So now, faith, love. So now, faith, hope, and love. Abide these three things. Abide. These three, these three, but the greatest of this is love. Another one, John 15, 13. Greater love has no one than this, that someone laid down his life for his friends. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us. That was the greatest. That's the greatest love. And that's still the greatest love. So don't let anyone deceive you. Oh, I love you. If you love me, you have to get down with me. If you love me, you have to give it to me. If you love me, you have to do it. If you love me, you have to give me your virginity. Even before marriage, that is not love. True love waits. If you can't wait, let him go. Okay, John 13 verses 34 through 35. A new covenant I give to you that you love one another just as I have loved you. You also are to love one another. By this all people will know that you are my disciples. If you have love, if you have love for one another. Let's try Galatians 5 13 through 14. For you were called to freedom. Brothers, only do not use your freedom for an opportunity for the flesh. Do not take God's grace for granted. That's what that one is telling you. But through love, serve one another. For the whole law is fulfilled in the world. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Another one, John 3, 16, which is the, one of the most favorite, one of the most popular, popular verses. Say, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life another one first john 4 19 we love because he first loved us which was the song i sang before should i sing again we love because god first loved us we love because god first loved us we love we love we love because god first loved us us so no other love is greater than the one jesus christ has given to us and that's why i call him the love of my life the one who has never judged me the one who has never judged me my voice the one who has never cheated on me the one who had never lied to me the one who loved me no matter what the one who loves me unconditionally the one who loves me unfailingly he has that faithful love for me no compromise Thank you, Jesus, for your love. The one who died for me, even when I was yet unborn. The love of Christ is great. The love of Christ is the love of God. He came to show us how much God cares about us. So the love of God, Omo, when somebody says, I love you, don't be triggered. Don't be too spinned. Because why? Someone already said, I love you in everything, in action, in what? In everything, in everything, in everything, in sacrifices, in everything. Let's move on. But at times, they can create a variety of emotions for different people. For some, it creates great satisfaction celebrating the love you have, you have between you, your spouse, your friends, your family. For others, it can cause feelings for loneliness. Hmm. Feelings of loneliness. Whether you're single or in a relationship, let these Bible verses encourage you to celebrate. For God has unconditional and an indescribable love for us. No matter your age or stage in life, Valentine's Day can be celebrated because of God's great love. Share these scriptures on February 14th and throughout the year to spread the love with those you hold near and dear. Happy Valentine's Day, my people. I love you so much. Let's try another one. And now these three, three remain. Faith, love, and hope. But the greatest of this is love, which is the one we read before. Love you. Bye.